channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Then again, uh, every video is, is different, right? So today we're going to take a little sneak peek, a little bit of an overview of my vanity, my new setup here that I have right in front of me. So it's just going to be an overview, just pretty much, you know, what I have here. Uh, more or less what I keep in like in each drawer, how it's set up, things like that, um, and where I got most of the pieces. So um, if you want a more detailed video about like my organization and like the products that I actually have, then that would be a separate video if you guys want that. So please leave those comments down below and make sure to like and subscribe to this video, um, to this channel, obviously. Don't forget to hit that like button on this video. You know you want to, so don't just, just go ahead. Actually, while you are here, to stop for a moment and go down and hit that subscribe button while you are here and also hit the little notifications button as well that way you won't miss a single video from me and hopefully it notifies you at a decent time so I you know it's weird how the notifications work so yes um, this is my little vanity setup I don't know what I'm gonna call this video yet but um, I hope you guys enjoy it bye Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to show you my vanity setup and I wanted to show you the two pieces of my vanity. Here I have the actual vanity, excuse the wires down there. Um, one of them hooks up to the ring light that I have there and then the other one is just a sort of like an extension so I can plug in my um, hair tools. So this is the bottom piece and then the top piece is the mirror. It's a huge mirror, like I'm not even kidding you how far this mirror goes up to like practically almost the ceiling. So like there's a the ceiling and the mirror is very, very large and very heavy. I wish I can tell you exactly like where you could find these pieces, but unfortunately um, what happened was that my mother-in-law wanted to give me a little bit of a housewarming gift for this room and she knew that I always always wanted a vanity of my own so I can actually do my makeup and sit down and this is what she got me and she bought it from individual sellers so there was a woman who sold the desk by itself or the actual vanity uh, desk and then someone else sold the mirror separately so they're you know ha not hand-me-down but they're repurposed and they look absolutely amazing the woman that uh, resold the desk did an absolutely fa fabulous job she repurposed it she put uh, she painted it put me painted it blue put new handles on it and just so you can see like the detail it's very very nice what I loved about this vanity was that it had a lot a lot of drawers and the drawers are very nice and deep um, and you'll see that in a little bit so yeah anyway but this is the actual vanity itself so unfortunately I can't really link down below any place that I got the vanity for you to actually go and pur uh, purchase yourself so I'm sorry about that Okay, so first things first, on top of my vanity, I have this acrylic drawer set here and an acrylic lipstick holder. And both pieces, I believe I bought both of them at TJ Maxx because they were on the clearance section. So I think it was like maybe $5 or even a little bit less than that. I think this was $5 on clearance and this was probably like $2.99 on clearance. And this is a pretty decent lipstick holder. It holds it holds 12 lipsticks, so I just put all my lipsticks here. And this acrylic drawer set has two drawers here on the sides that are smaller and a larger one on the bottom. So for my drawers, I tend to put um, lipsticks, or mainly in the drawers I have, um, liquid lipsticks or lip glosses. Uh, there's only one drawer that I have lipsticks in and it's this drawer here. Um, but that's like left over because I couldn't fit it in an actual lipstick holder. But everything else is just liquid lipsticks here. Also on my vanity I have all of my very nice fragrances. I have like body mists and body sprays um, in my bathroom. So right here in the front I have 
Daisy by Marc Jacobs this is a really small version of uh, of one of his perfumes. Absolutely love this. It smells amazing, nice and light floral. I have another Daisy by Jacobs uh, by Marc Jacobs here, and this is the full size. My mom got me this for Christmas this past um, this past Christmas. This one was from my mother-in-law. This fragrance is Coach, and I love this. This has to be like my favorite fragrance out of all of them this is the fragrance I wore on my wedding day because I just love it like I try not to go through it as you can see I've tried to really really preserve the fragrance in here because uh, one it's expensive and two it smells really good so I wear it on really nice like special occasions and my husband got me this um, six months before our wedding so that was that puts us at December um, so for Christmas I was really, really excited. I, I dropped a ton of hints. Well, a ton of hints to the point where I actually sent him like a picture of it and told him that I wanted it for Christmas. And then I have a Blossom by uh, New York and Company. This is a really nice fragrance. I like it. I don't gravitate toward it too, too much. I don't gravitate toward it too much, but it's a really nice light floral scent, um, and it's you know it's a decently uh, priced perfume. I believe I paid probably like twenty five dollars for this one, and then I have Elizabeth Arden's Fifth Avenue here. That this was a gift from my mom, and my mom loves this perfume. Every time I wear it, it reminds me of her. Moving right along, I just have a little mirror here. And it's a dual-sided mirror, so you have like the regular magnification on one side and then extra magnification on the other. And the reason why I love this is for all the little studs here. I just have my brushes. I have a cup for my face brushes and a cup for my eye brushes here. And I, it's just nothing fancy, honestly. I just got a couple cups and didn't really care if it matched the theme or not. I might probably change this one out so for right now I just have a Legend of Zelda cup which I don't mind I'm a huge Legend of Zelda freak and so is my husband but yeah I just here I have all my eye brushes and then all my face brushes right over here along with some tweezers this side over here has probably to be like my favorite part I have a few like snow globes and this one is my absolute favorite. This is um, a snow globe for Beauty and the Beast, and it has the rose on the inside and all of like the face um, character faces at the edge. And at the bottom, it you can um, you can turn a little knob and it plays music. And this is just a little Valentine's Day one. And this I got from obviously from Chicago many, many years ago. I believe I was thir no, not 13. I was 15. And we went to the Hancock Observatory and we were able to like see all different surrounding states because of how high up it was. These little pieces right here, these little decorative pieces that I have, these are actually from my wedding. So I have sand that I swirled myself, um, blue and white sand with some seashells, and it, I made it really simple and a little tea light. So going to the first drawer, in this drawer right here, this is a pretty small drawer, but it's decent. It pulls out a lot, and it goes a little bit deeper in the back, and this is just, I keep makeup products here that I use on a daily basis, so my foundation, my highlighter, blush, powder, bronzer. These are just items that I go for and I pull out every single day. I have just everything here. So something that I need like immediately, it's all right in here. So this side is where I keep my makeup other than the middle drawer, but this side is where I keep my makeup. This is just all like eyeshadow, quads, Almay, um, e.l.f., and different things like that. If, like I said, if you want to see a more in-detail um, storage collection of what I have, just let me know. And then this bottom one is where I keep all my palettes. And I don't have that many palettes, but I have a decent amount, mainly from BH Cosmetics. And now uh, my palette collection is... My palette collection is expanding because of BoxyCharm. So I, we've been getting like little palettes here and there, and I absolutely love them. And then the bottom one's just a junk drawer. You don't need to see that. 
And then this is kind of a junk drawer. We're on the right side. What I showed you earlier was the left side. This is kind of a junk drawer, but this is where I keep like all my, my lashes. And um, I keep just different things for like the eyes. Like I have an eyelash curler. So it's not really, a you know, that big of a deal. I just keep all of my different eyelashes in here. Down here is all my hot tools, my combs, my brushes, uh, flat iron, curling iron, things like that. And then finally down here are just all my hair products, just creams and uh, serums, um, hair ties, hair clips, just everything that you can possibly think of for my hair, um, hair spray. I have it all down here. Alright guys, so that is it for my little vanity tour. It, I know it was super short. I don't have a humongous collection like oh, everybody else on YouTube seems to have nowadays. But I know I'm going to work up to it. That it takes time. Um, every collection takes time to build. So I, you know, it doesn't matter um, to me that much. But I love my little setup. I am absolutely in love with it. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I'm so blessed that I have what I do have. So um, I'm just really happy that I'm able to share that with you guys and to show you that, you know, you can look for little pieces, go to those garage sales, go um, online and find really nice repurposed um, furniture, uh, vanity desks. You can find them out there. I didn't mention this earlier um, in the video, but both the mirror and the vanity desks that I have, if you combine the costs together, it was probably like $175. Don't quote me on it. It was somewhere around there. Again, my mother-in-law um, bought them for me, but it was very much on the cheap side and they look absolutely beautiful. I'm totally in love with my setup here. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love my little vanity. I love this humongous mirror that I have. And yeah, so just keep a lookout. Look out for clearances. Look out for um, anything that um, you can find. Go to, you know, Goodwill for some furniture pieces. Um, check out your local thrift stores. And I'm sure you can find some really nice items. And if you know how to repurpose or you just want to do a DIY, go right ahead and do that. So I encourage you guys really you don't have to buy the Alex drawers you don't have to buy the stuff from Ikea especially if you can't afford it like right now one day I would love to have that stuff but I can't afford it now so you have to think realistically and right now I am very blessed to have what I have and and I make it work and they're beautiful pieces they're not cheap looking pieces at all so I make it work and it looks absolutely beautiful and I've gotten nothing but wonderful comments on my little vanity space and I still have a little bit of work to do it's not completely and totally done yet um, but it's getting there I want to you know redo a few things but that's basically it guys so I hope you enjoyed this video again please like and subscribe take a moment and hit that subscribe button come join the family and help to make this family grow so we can add more and more beauty lovers on this channel and I love um, being able to communicate with you guys and being able to um, talk to you guys and so I don't really I don't feel like I'm just talking to myself here here even though sometimes it may seem that way um, or you know I technically am home by myself talking to a camera but it it doesn't matter to me I feel like I'm talking to you guys so um, yeah like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video Bye.